This is really not sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of internet words. Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and today we're going to be reviewing The Gallows by Mark Shortland. Now, The Gallows, what it is, it's this book test that can be made into a stage illusion. Um, it's basically the game of Hangman being done to the plot of a book test. And so for every letter you get wrong while playing the game of Hangman, you assemble this Gallows stage prop on stage, and basically you're playing life or death with this book test, right? So let's kind of get into the other details about this. It's $200 roughly on Penguin Magic, but Penguin usually does promotional deals with it, like different uh, percentage deals. So you can find it for anywhere between $50 off to $100 off, which is a great steal in my opinion. So um, if $200 seems a bit expensive for you, you can usually wait around and Penguin will have a deal on it. So with that being said, let's kind of get into the pros and cons of this. So the cons is it's pretty expensive, right? So even with the discounts, it's an expensive book test. Um, and not only that, but you it does not come with a stage prop, right? So the stage prop that you'll see in my performance video, I had to have that made separately. And so if you factor in that, that was about uh, roughly about $400 for the price of materials and the labor included with it. So you're looking at, in total, if you don't include discounts, about a $600 prop. So <laughs> it can be pretty expensive, right? Um, but I think it's well worth it. So let's get into the pros. The pros are you can hand out any of these two books. It could be a free selection. This is what comes with Gallows. It's The Glass House Mystery by Matthew Horsling and The Plan by Charles Short. And your spectator can pick these books, whichever one. You don't have to force anything. They can pick whatever page they want. It does not matter. And they can pick almost any word they want, as long as it's longer than five letters. You need it to be um, longer than five letters to kind of play the game of Hangman, and that's kind of how I explain the plot of it. And then by playing the game of Hangman, you'll be able to know exactly what word that they picked, and then be able to save yourself at the end. So that's kind of the gist of it. So that's what I really like about it, is there's so much free choice involved. It, they can pick the glass house mystery or the plan. It does not matter. They could turn to whatever page they want. It does not matter. And they can pick whatever word they want, as long as it's longer than five letters. So all that freedom included, and they usually try to pick um, larger words just to kind of uh, make it more challenging, it would seem, for the magician doing this book test. So it, there's just so much freedom involved with this effect. And if you don't want to construct the stage prop, if you don't want to perform it with this huge gallows illusion, then you're perfectly fine just um, performing it as a regular hangman game, right? But if you don't want to do the hangman plot, there's another way to perform this where you will have to use some equivocate, but you could use any one of the two books again. And you equivocate it down to um, about like, I don't know, 10 options you'll have to equivocate it down to. And then whatever page that they pick from your selection of equivocate choices, you'll know a certain phrase in the book. And so you can kind of do a book test uh, concerning a phrase, which is really sweet as well. So you can kind of use this for walk around as well if you really want to. So there's a lot of options that you could do with Gallows. And due to all those options, I really feel it's like one of the better book tests out there, if not the best book test, just because there's so much freedom associated with it. Um, I feel absolutely comfortable performing it in front of a huge crowd of people. In fact, my first time performing it in front of an audience was in front of a large auditorium of people. And that's how comfortable I felt performing Gallows. So really the only issues you will have is just kind of the expenses of constructing your illusion prop if you want to do that. And, uh, you know, just the price associated with it. But it's perfectly safe. Um, there is the noose and everything, but 
as you'll find from the performance, is perfectly safe as well. Uh, the gallows cannot support your own weight, so don't worry about that. Um, there really isn't any risk of injury. You're going to be perfectly fine performing this. Um, and also, you don't have to worry about um, assembling your own noose. It comes like pre-made to where you can like adjust in the, uh, the tightness of it and whatever just by pulling on the, these ropes here. So you don't even have to be good at constructing a noose. So it's really all made for you. The other cons that I have about this, and you might just have to email Mark about this, is Penguin doesn't really offer the option of replacing items. So if you lose your noose or lose one of the books or any of the other um, items associated with this that you might need to perform it, there isn't really any refills. So that's kind of unfortunate. And I'm wondering if Mark can kind of eventually supply refills for this. I don't think this product is too popular though. So there might not be a demand for it, which is sort of a problem with that. And that's why I don't think that there are refills currently for it but I would love to see refills for this product come in the future, just in case if I lose something. Um, yeah, so with that being said, that leads into another pro. Since I don't think it's too popular of an item, I don't really see a whole lot of people performing it. In fact, it was very hard to find even Mark's performance of it online. I don't even think it was the full performance. Uh, I don't think a whole lot of people are doing this. Like, if you look at book tests, like um, the one that Sean Farquhar has out there, uh, the one based around Sherlock Holmes, and uh, you look at uh, the Great Gatsby book test, and all these different book tests that it seems like everyone is doing, this could help you stand out because, A, it's going to be used on a big stage platform, right? Now, that isn't saying that Sean Farquhar's book test couldn't be used on a large stage. I've seen it used on a large stage several times, but this one, like, it's really easy for your audience to watch this. Like, they don't have to kind of, like, look in and look at a book that is filled with blank pages, right? So they could see the gallows and they could just see the drama that is built up with these gallows. So that's a huge plus right there. It's just, it's very visually pleasing. And so no one else is really doing this book test just because it's so extra. <laughs> extra is the best way to put it, just because you're using such large props and you're seemingly putting yourself at risk. But that, I think, since no one else is doing this and you're putting yourself at risk quotes um, you're just gonna add this whole new element to you as a performer if you choose to do gallows so to give gallows a score I give it a 9 out of 10 I think it is honestly the best book test you can get out there just for its uniqueness what you could do with it the customization of whether you want to do it for stage or walk around there's just so much that you can do with this product and I think Mark Shortland really killed it and the comedy of this kind of effect I mean you're playing hangman for real like the comedy writes itself like I am not a comedian but a lot of the material that you'll see a lot of the jokes is a lot of my own material that I use for my performance and there was a couple of jokes that I borrowed from Mark just so I thought because I thought it would fit my character and I, I kind of needed to explain certain things of the game of hangman but I'm going to probably move it all to my own original comedy material pretty soon. It was just, I couldn't really think of anything before the performance date, so I used a little bit of his jokes that he used. But um, yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoy this performance, and hopefully it'll give you a better informed decision on whether you would like to perform this or not and make the purchase. Thanks. Well, how about the game, um, <laughs> Hangman? Have any of you played the game Hangman before? Me. Yes. Yeah, are you okay? So is somebody who's familiar with it? Basically, <laughs> basically, the premise of Hangman is you get the corner train wrong, it's public execution, essentially. Like, if you imagine Will of Fortune, you get the corner train, and it's actually on the two wings, that is luck be in the air tonight, not what you were thinking. You are the wings, like, goodbye, and then just, like, execute them on live TV. Like, who would watch that? Rhetorical question, but you guys are about to see that right now. So I need to have someone play hangman with me. So I need a volunteer. You don't have to come up on stage. You can if you want. You can actually remain in your seat. So volunteer, really close by. Yes, how about you in the front? Okay. What's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin. I have two books here, Caitlin. Okay. I have 
The Plan by Charles Short, and The Glass House Mystery by Matthew Horsley. They're both kind of meh, but I'll let you have your pick. Let's we'll see the Glass House Mystery. The Glass House Mystery. Everyone picks that one, I don't know why. Is there any particular reason why I picked this one? I feel like I've heard of it, but I guess I haven't. Okay. <laughs> I need you to turn to any random page, okay? okay. Not the first page, because you might have thought that I broke the binding, so I gimmicked or it's in or whatever. Okay. All right, do you have a page? Yeah. Is that page I? No. No, okay, let me try some. Is that page even? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes? I need you to select the word, don't tell me what the word is, but I need it to be kind of big, because we're actually going to play Hangman for real. We're going to assemble a real gallows. I need you to handle a little bit of a bigger word. I got a good one. You got a good one, okay? I need you to count how many letters that are in that word. Um, nine. Nine, okay? Now the thing is, I trust that you can count, but the thing is, I don't want to be up there swinging on the gallows, and you're like, oh, you know what? It was actually ten. So could I have your neighbor confirm for me that it's nine letters? She can't count. <laughs> it is nine, yeah. It is nine, okay. So we'll commit to nine. I'll mark, mark out nine spaces. You can keep track too if you want. Yeah. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. We're gonna play a little bit of hangman. Okay. Is there an A? Yes. Yes. Okay? Safe so far. Good. A is confirmed. Is there an E in the word? No. No E. Chris, do you know what that means? Oh yeah. <laughs> Time to bring out the base. Ooh. I always get excited when that happens. Sorry, I just love it when the bass drops. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. It was more of a joke for me in 2013 than it was for you guys. So. Um, okay, so there, there was no E. Is no. there a T? Yes. Yes, there is a T. Great. Is there an S? No. No S. Okay. That's too wrong. Chris, I need you to get the central leg, that hole, the stick in the hole. I would usually have a joke about this, but I couldn't come up with anything unless I get a hole in the hole. So. <laughs> you couldn't come up with anything about holes and holes. Um, no? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So, no X. I'm going to give you a little bit of a chance of this. Is there, by any chance, an X? No. No X. Oh, man. How do I X out an X? <laughs> I need to figure out how to kill bedtime as he constructs this, but you're all looking at that. Do you all think I constructed it? It would be wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, that's starting to look like a 10 foot gallows, I'd say. Okay. Um, is there. So no S. Is there a Z in the word? <laughs> no. No Z. Oh. <laughs> Did you bring up the chair? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a really trust. <laughs> I have to be really careful after rehearsal the other night. I almost fell and broke my neck. <laughs> This is really not sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of internet rehearsal. Ugh. Is that there? Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. I paid $2 to see this cast in. <laughs> but fear not, dear audience. I assure you, my ex girlfriend would pay a bunch more money to see this there. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. The lady's speaking. Oh, I really hope he doesn't hurt himself. The men are thinking. That's not a ten foot. <laughs> okay. What was your name again? Caitlin. Caitlin. Caitlin, it's essential that everything you say after this be yes. Uh, I'm going to commit to a word. You want me to tell the truth? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I committed to a word. Caitlin, for the first time, what is your word? 
Labyrinth. <laughs> Is that not what you had? Kayla, okay, where'd you say you were from? Gross Point, but Gross I didn't. Point? I don't know how to spell Gross Point, but where I come from, it's spelled like this. Labyrinth! Oh. <laughs>